As soon as the man stretched out his left foot, he stepped into water that was charged with electricity, which made him immobile for a moment. Then he stumbled and fell to the ground under the effect of anesthesia, and the next moment he was sent to his death by tens of thousands of volts. The two killers left the scene. The doctor was even worse. When she got back to the hospital, she saw that the room was filled with enemy soldiers. Looking around, she noticed a colleague sterilizing needles, which gave her a plan. She then took a bottle of ether and, seeing that her colleague's glasses were covered in vapor, she pretended to help him and handed him the ether. The man did not think twice and mistook the ether for distilled water and poured it into the pressure cooker. In the meantime, the woman rushed out of the clinic, reversed the direction of the wooden box full of alcohol, and then pulled a tool cart and placed it on the opposite side of the alcohol, so that the aisle would be extremely narrow. Then she stuck a couple of sugar cubes in the doorway and adjusted the bracket behind the door so that one end was facing the window. By this time, the enemy was drifting off to sleep as the ether evaporated. Obviously the time was ripe. So the woman hurriedly squatted down and poured distilled water when no one was around. The water flowed along the corners of the wall and quickly reached the sugar cube, which was completely soaked and melted in the next second. The steel door without support quickly rebounded and knocked down the bracket behind the door, which in turn smashed the glass and overturned the pressure cooker inside the house. The sudden situation made the enemy troops a bit confused but the next second.